Hey, if you're new to crypto and you are looking at the crypto market and you're wondering to yourself, what coins should I buy? There are so many and Doge is taking off to the moon. Ethereum looks like it's on steroids. Bitcoin looks like it's just kind of a little bit retracting. I, I don't know what to buy. Should I buy a, what, what was a V-chain? Was a, was a V-thrower? What is a Litecoin? You know what I mean? And then that's just like the mid to large cap coins what about all these little altcoins what the heck is a safe moon what the heck is a shina emu right you wonder like what is going on with with all these coins and if, if you're like me i'm like how should i properly allocate my uh my resource my very limited very small resources in order for me to attain one bitcoin in order for me to attain moon status rocket ship seat to the moon baby my name is aaron i am on a journey for one bitcoin i am a brand new crypto investor and just excited to be in this world exploring and coming to different thoughts and conclusions and in this video today i'm just gonna like show you or, or at least reveal to you and share with you my thought process on where I like to allocate my coins and whether or not you agree with this uh, this is just my personal uh, beliefs I'm not a financial advisor I'm not telling you how to invest your coins I'm just thinking I'm just thinking through what the state of the market is if I took a step back and my own thought process and so if you're like me if you want to uh, journey along with this uh, with me uh, to one Bitcoin just go ahead and hit the subscribe button of course, uh, if you are feeling generous uh, today, I know a lot of people watch a lot of YouTube videos and don't hit the like button and you are entitled to that. But if you are a generous person, I would ask you to donate a like button to this video. Now, if you're like me, this is my this is my trust wallet. This is exactly how much I, I have. I'm very open and honest with my portfolio. I'm not trying to hide anything. But if you're like me, you want that moonshot, you know, chance that, that puncher's chance to make it to the moon in a million dollars. And you might not understand how, I don't even understand how, but maybe your portfolio looks something like this. I've got Safe Moon. I've got something called NFT Art Finance. I've got Wall Street Bets Token, Spore, Elon Gate, Eclipse, Bonfire, BNB, Fine, Animal Adoption, Moon Pirate, Safe Panda, Up Only. It's like all these different coins and I've got other exchanges and other coins, MetaMask and all this stuff. And uh, I, it's hard to configure what is going on in the crypto market, what is going on in the state in the psychology of my brain, and what, what I'm trying to do. And so uh, the question is, wh what is the proper allocation uh, of your funds to buying what coins, you know? Uh, where do you put, where do you park your, the, mo the bulk of your money? What do you take chances with and invest in? And so here's my story. I was, I'm in a room filled with aspiring uh, crypto investors, uh, some of which have six, seven figures of portfolio, some of which have four figures in their portfolio, some of them have three and two figures in their portfolio. And so we're in a group. Uh, and my friend Crypto Domus, and I got another friend Maximus Oraculus, my name is Face, in this group. And um, we're talking about, the, the question was posed, how much do you allocate? We're talking about all these little altcoins, all these little microcap coins that we're chasing around. Like, oh man, what the heck is a Spore Finance? Oh man, what the heck is a Moon Pirate? And uh, these these have a, a shot at mooning. And these have a shot at if you invest like $100 now, it could be like $10,000, $100,000 down the road. I mean, what the heck? We're watching Doge make millionaires out of people right now. And so that is, I think, what the struggle is. And I think what has happened, what's taken over the crypto investing market is a wide sense of greed. At least this is what my friend Cryptodomus was saying. He said there's this there's this wide sense of greed that has a, like infiltrated investors and their brains. Uh, and here's why that, that is. And I, I agree with him that there there is we're watching the crypto market. And we're watching all these news and we're seeing this Dogecoin millionaire YOLO into his life savings and in 63 days he became a millionaire. We're like, what in the world? We're seeing SafeMoon pop off the charts at 3,000 times its opening value. Moon uh, Pirate, 23,000% uh, over its introductory rate, which was like a month ago. Like, it, it, this is insane. This is incredible times. And we're seeing like 2,000% gains on some of these microcap coins. And what we see here in the crypto market is that people are looking at 
almost surefire bets. VeChain, right? Ethereum, uh, Cardano, uh, Filecoin, uh, Bitcoin. You know, all these large, large coins, right? Stable, not stable coins, but large, uh, you know, market cap coins, which will almost guarantee you a 2x on your money, a 3x on your money, a 4x, a 5x on your money, um, you know, probably within 3, 6, or 12 months. I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed, right? Get, Bitcoin has increased over 200% every year. It's pretty much guaranteed. If you invest $1,000 into Bitcoin today, in six months, it could easily be worth $2,000. By the end of the year, it could be worth $2,000. And what? And we kind of know that, right? We know this. However, people like myself, new investors, maybe even old investors, look at that and they're like, Forex my money? That's so slow. Why would you even 4x your money? Why would you why would you 400% your money when you could 4000 your percent your money and you could just buy into Spore Finance and you could buy into Moon Pirate or Eclipse or Bonfire. And when why would you do that? Why would you go 4x your money when you could go 4000x your money? And it's actually it's it's people are giving up the almost surefire way. I'm not gonna say surefire, I'm not gonna say 100 percent Again, not a financial advisor, but it's pretty darn close. That if you invest your money, you will double your money by 12 months, by next year, investing in any one of these large market cap. Just take your pick and you can you can pretty much get it. Look at BNB for instance. BNB is up at this at this point, probably around 650 bucks. Uh, Ethereum on steroids just Hulk smashing its way to all-time highs at $3,400. If you invest, uh, you know, $2,000 in Ethereum today, it, it could easily get to $10,000 by year's end, and this is what a lot of people predict. But people are not doing that. People are diving into these micro-cap coins because we, me included, are just so blinded, infatuated, I don't know what the word is, but I have been taken over. And so we're laughing about this in the room. We're like, what in 2X my money? What in the world? And just like, just a few years ago, you'd be happy with a 10% return on your investment if you were investing in stocks. But in crypto, no, the rules are different. The rules are different in crypto because you should be able to be make yourself a millionaire overnight. And even what I'm finding out is that people who are investing in this micro cap market, they're not even waiting a week or two. You know, it, it, on average, it takes a, a month to three months for it to moonshot. They're not even waking. It's like after a week, I'm like, this coin is dead to me. This is a garbage coin. What a scam. And so we have, I think, been infected with this uh, microwave mentality, this sense of greed that prevents us from finding like true return on our income, true return on our investment rather, when we could just invest in something like VeChain and or invest in something like Bitcoin or Ethereum or Polkadot or Cardano or uh, what, any one of these, Filecoin or anything like this. You know what I mean? So I think, I think that's where we came to as a consensus. Now there is an alternative point. The alternative point is that uh, we we could easily it, it's alt season right now it's altcoin season right now this is the this is the alternative point it's altcoin season this market is built on hype uh, this market is because there's no real u adopted utility uh, for these coins yet it will happen in the next bull cycle um, and this is uh, sourced from uh, Bitboy Crypto Ben he said that this mar bull market run is uh, uh, surrounded and fueled by hype and so if you if you are going with the market, you should base your bets, you should base your investments on hype. And so, hey, a safe moon bet, uh, you know, days before safe moon popped would have made you a millionaire based on how much you would have invested. And so, you know, the, the risk itself, um, as far as investment might be, you know, vastly lower, the returns much quicker, but then you have to really be timing that pop and you should be, you know, you, you, there's a whole host of indicators that uh, one should be aware of to find, you know, that true 1000x, 2000x uh, altcoin. Now, am I saying it's impossible? No, I'm not saying it. That's why I've got like a whole portfolio of these altcoins. Um, and I do believe that, you know, one of these will pop. I believe that's gonna be SafeMoon. 
Um, it could be, and it could be, it could not be, it could be some other coin that I've invested in. And I will continue to look for these altcoins. And so we come, we come all full back circle into the question, how much should you invest in different types of coins? And I think for myself, the answer is it's based on your risk tolerance and your familiarity with the market. Now, I'll give you an example of what I mean. For myself, I think it's okay to have a 20 to 25% uh, position in these small micro cap coins and then a you know 70 to 75% position in mid-sized to large cap coins such as Bitcoin or Ethereum itself or VeChain. I really like those projects. I think they have real use case, real utility in the future and even the in the present. But you know, I mean, you still got that puncher's chance. You still got that moonshot chance to invest in the right coin at the right time and make you a humongous return. And so I think for my other friends, uh, and, and I think if you have a whale's mentality, a whale's mentality is someone who just, hey, is more out there to preserve their income. They have a investor's mentality versus a gambler's mentality, right? And an investor's mentality is really meant to preserve your net worth and preserve your wealth versus a gambler's mentality is really trying to hit it big and hit it fast. And so uh, my other friends are like 50-50. One friend is like 90-10, like he's 90% or 95% into the, you know, the stable, uh, you know, 3x, 4x returns. And even just saying that, they're like a 3x return on your money is incredible okay like like let's not forget that if you 3x your money that is incredible but what I think we're finding is that a lot of people are entering to the market with less than a thousand dollars which is fine that's how much I entered into it too but they want the Lambo and so the only way to get that people believe is that to find that moonshot chance except that is very low percentage in my opinion. I mean, 90%, if not 99% of these altcoins are going to fade, they're going to disappear, they're all memes. I mean, that Doge, for every one Dogecoin, there was a million different other coins that have failed and flopped around. Um, and so this is something that I think you and I need to personally uh, assess. What should we be buying and how much should we be buying? How many altcoins should we be buying? How much should, how much should we allocate per position? Now, if you have any thoughts on this, I'd really like to hear the community's thoughts down in the comments below. Let me know what's your position. What's your how many percentage allocation should you uh, move your 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 you know what's your risk tolerance like and all that stuff. Anyway, if these thoughts helped guide your thoughts and you found some kind of value in this, and you're a generous person, right? All those things uh, is true. If those, all those things are true, then I would ask you to hit the like button. If you're not if you're not feeling generous today, don't worry. You know, I'll try to earn your like in another video. But go ahead and hit subscribe to see the next video. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the moon, hopefully.